This is Exploring with the Nug. My name is Jeremy, and today we're gonna be investigating a spot on the river where a girl drowned. Back in the 70s, a girl came to this location to go for a swim. She got in the water not realizing how dangerous the water was, and she drowned. Her body disappeared. They brought in divers to recover the body and the divers could not find it. Jerry, one of the viewers of my channel who lives in this area, can tell us in more detail exactly what happened. So let's go talk to him right now. So tell me the story, Jerry. When you was a kid... When I was a, a kid, this river was up a lot more. Mm -hmm. And it created a natural whirlpool where that river, that river came together and it created a whirlpool and made a real deep hole. Mm -hmm. And when I was a kid growing up, some girl drowned in it. So they brought divers in and they went down, they couldn't find that. Man. That's been in the 70s, so when I was a kid. I'm an old man, so. Right. <laughs> so people aren't allowed to swim here anymore? They still do, but they just discourage it, you know, uh, especially when the water is swirling in the springtime mainly. So I'm standing pretty much in the water where the girl would have came to have a swim. And check it out, I'll show you around. See, there's downstream. Up here is the entrance to one river. And up here, where the other guys are at, are the entrance to the other river. Now check this out, let me walk up here. And I'll show you guys who are not familiar with what he was talking about. So where I'm standing, look. The water runs downstream right here. The water runs downstream right here. Meets in the middle, curves off and goes that way. Now. When the water is kicking, it creates a whirlpool. Now think about that whirlpool there for years and years and years. It has probably drilled a hole right in the middle that has gone down deep. Who knows how deep? The divers back in the day couldn't find the bottom. I, however, think we can figure it out, figure out how deep it is, how dangerous it is, and uh, why this place is now closed to the public to, uh, for swimming. Okay, so I'm really curious now, what is out there in that water that makes it so dangerous that uh, that girl passed away and they never found her body? So uh, I'm gonna get the gear on and I'm gonna dive it. And uh, I'm gonna see what's so scary down there, how deep it is, if there's any hidden caves, anything. And if I have any answers, you're coming with me. If I can't figure anything out, well, we'll be disappointed together. <laughs> Either way, let's go get the gear on and get in this water before we run out of time. All right, I got all my pressure junkies gear on. I'm gonna investigate these waters, see what's so treacherous about them, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys. Then we can create some awareness, spread the word. Don't come here to go swimming unless you're an experienced swimmer, scuba diver. Definitely don't come here when it's raining. All those questions, hopefully we're gonna answer right now. Let's get underwater, see what happens. Her body was never recovered. So be on the lookout as you're watching this video. Bones. I may miss them, you may see them. Leave a comment below. There's a very good chance that her remains could still be out here somewhere.
All right, so as you can see from the little investigating that we did, uh, it's super shallow. It's like six feet at the deepest. So my only guess would be that the water gets really treacherous here when it's higher, like after rain. Maybe she jumped in the water then when, uh, when it was raining and it was a whole different story when the water's higher. But right now when the water's low, there's really no underwater hazards besides that. Um, I mean, there was an undercut rock, but I mean, it'd be really hard to get wedged in there. And so like, I'm, if I had to guess, I would say she got in the water when it was higher and uh, it swept her away. And I'm having a tough time believing that, that she was never found. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know, I mean, but it happens. There's a lot of missing people that were never found out there. So while we're here suited up in the water, let's do some more exploring in this river and around some places, see what else we can find, make a day out of it. Let's do that right now. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we are all wrapped up for the day. We did find some pretty cool things. Let me show you some of the stuff that I found. I did find me a Coke bottle. It's not very old, but I did take it out of the river anyways. Found me part of an old milk glass. So I found all kinds of little sinkers and lead weights and modern bullets, uh, but I did find a couple things. Let's ask the resident professional what he thinks these are. They look These familiar. are older bullets, but they're not Civil War. They look but they are older. 
they are from like the early 1900s I think this one's cool because um, the little grooves right there were to get grease out of the barrel of the gun oh dang fun well, fact yeah. fun fact so, of the day yeah it's pretty interesting right. man. very weird little nice doodads. nice finds I Do know. I get a knuckle? Oh, very good. I got a knuckle. I found me this. It looks just like a bottle opener slash key thingy. I'm sure one of you guys know what that is. I found a big old spike. Maybe it was like an old metal tent spike, you know, back for the Civil War. That looked like something, but I'm not too sure what it is. What do you guys think? I found me a big old axe head, and you just know I'm going to electrolysize this and get all the rust off of it, and maybe put a stick on it, and I'll have myself another restored axe. And I did find a three right here, but for the life of me, I cannot figure out where I put it. It's somewhere in the van, and we're running out of daylight, so I gots to wrap this up. I really do wish we could have found um, at least a clue onto how that girl disappeared, but we're talking 1970s. She disappeared, she drowned here, and all we know is what we just heard today. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing, and we was in the location, so I was like, well, why not dive it and see if it's dangerous. Come to find out, it's only six feet deep. It's not dangerous when the water's low, but I bet you when it's raining and the water runs fast, that certain area turns into a giant whirlpool. And it, it rumor has it, I talked to some locals, they said numerous people have died at, that, at this location. So I think when the water's high, this place is a death trap. When it's low, cool swimming hole. That's what I think we're figuring out here. And uh, they said her body was never found. Um, once again, just a rumor. I have no clue if that's true or not, but at least we got to help out in any way we could and we got to find some cool treasures while we was out here. So if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you smash that thumbs up and until we meet again, my name is Jeremy and I'll see you on the next dive. Ah.